All right, everybody, welcome back to Automotive Anatomy. Today I'm with Steve. Steve, thank you so much for making some time for us. And uh, Steve, uh, tell us, what do you drive, man? I got a 91 Honda Civic wagon. Okay. Uh, how long have you had it for? Roughly three years. You've had it for roughly three years? Yeah. So why a wagon? I don't know, man. Just the body style and the tent windows. I just, I don't know, just like how the, you can see all inside. It's like the fishbowl look. Yeah. Okay. First of all, I got the the full EF5 um, hood bra. That's that piece is kind of hard to come by nowadays. Mm -hmm. And I got the big old corners, big old bumper lights. Okay. And I got an 8089 lid. I got some curve fillers for the wheels, so when I'm driving or park somewhere, I don't get rashes on my wheels and stuff. Cause and that comes from your low riding background, yeah. right? Okay, okay. And we'll talk a little bit about that. Fly your wheels. They're on 15 by 7 um, SSR EXE fins. They were 90% restored when I got them from a previous owner. Oh, okay. But I ended up finishing them. They, they needed um, the hardware to be gold plated. The plates needed to be worked on. And I got the barrels fully polished. Okay. Then again, and that then chrome I in you. Them back together, and it was they were ready to roll. Bought new tires, slapped them on. One sixty-five fifty. One sixty-five fifty. Okay. Fifteen. Nice man. And then I was trying to get my fitment on point, get it right. So it took me a little while to dilate what well, um adapters or stuff like that. I needed to get the that flush look. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because right now you're in, uh, your suspension is hydros, but you've yeah. been static. And you mentioned that when you were in static, you, yeah, you when would... I, when I hit the switches, I like the filming gets off, but I have it set so when it slam, it gets like the filming on there, so you can't even put your fingers in there. It's like it's super tight. It's good. So That's I, a good thing. I like that look. I don't know. And those are, uh, the fenders are rolled and... Yeah, fenders are rolled, everything. All right, cool, man. On the front suspension, I kind of fully rebuilt everything. I did um, PCI upper control arms the full spindles were redone new wheel bearings new hubs lower ball joints tie rods new rack and pinion slotted rotors new brake calipers all the brake lines in the front are brand new wheel bearings after i changed all that the car rode even smoother mm -hmm. Can't even feel that much vibration to be honest. Now with the motor is still at this year, this motor, yeah. right? Any plans uh, on changing that? Well, for now, the only thing I had done is got a replacement motor with thirty thousand miles on it, and it's been very reliable. Couldn't have took it up north a couple times, no problems. And probably later on, I'm thinking about doing like a semi shape bay and keeping this motor in stay single cam and then tuck all the wiring repaint the whole engine bay get some little nice little things like tuck radiator maybe some gold plating or chrome mm -hmm. and just clean up everything so it looks pretty clean and solid you know yeah but that's in the future because right now i got another project that i'm trying to bring out i remember seeing a brown wagon that i used to own no i'll probably add the picture on that okay yeah that one that one i took it apart in 2015 because i was going right hand drive and doing all this but then that had to come to a pause because life yeah life <laughs> life and happens and mm -hmm. then i had my daughter so pretty much all my money that was going towards that i had to just pause it and see like i'd rather just do everything for my daughter first and any little material thing you know definitely okay yeah and then hopefully next year i can start working on that and actually having everything completely done and ready because mm -hmm. yeah, i think it's time to come back on that one. <laughs> so you have yeah. this one you have the brown one and you have a lowrider yeah and so the lowrider, what, what's the plan with the lowrider? 
that one finishing that one and then from there getting to the brown wagon that's like the main that's the that's timeline the order. Yeah. is this one going anywhere this one just no <laughs> like, selling wise <laughs> yeah no nah, i don't think so my lady's kind of too attached to it so maybe this will be hers and and i could roll my brown one and she roll the white one what advice i got from my homie jesus from up north weekend players he hooked me up with him and those are some other kind of very hard to come by nowadays i've been trying to find another set no luck no luck huh no man yeah I these mean, are in pretty good condition they, they have some um here and there little falls but they're just from normal age they're they're uh they're pretty old mm -hmm. and for them for them to look this clean it's kind of crazy no they look actually re look really really yeah. nice so that's but that says but, about you how you take care of them as yeah, well. Yeah, that's why I don't try to bother like messing with them because the plastic's fragile, so mm -hmm. I'll be upset if something happens. To me, you know? <laughs> All right. So what can you tell us about the interior? It's pretty much stock going in, as you know, as your normal. The ribs on the, the seats. seats. It doesn't really bug me, you know. To be honest, it means that you drive it, right? I used to keep it clean, you know, like mm -hmm. vacuumed all the time, clean the panels, everything nice and clean. All those things I look at in when I see, you know. What kind of uh, steering wheel? It's a limited edition Nardi, 24K plated, gold plated. Mm -hmm. This is normal wear and tear, if you can see. And then just planning to keep it uh, automatic? Probably, yeah, automatic. It's a good cruiser, huh? Just a cruiser, not, nothing for racing, just cruising and mm -hmm. bump some nice rare funk, some G-funk. Some G-funk. And get your cruising on. Did you take out the carpet and clean it? Yeah, no, I, I didn't do that. I just... It looks really deeply, clean. I just deeply clean it, to be honest. It looks really clean. I, I would... deeply clean it. You'll be surprised how many times I've vacuumed this shit. <laughs> you have such high standards, I, I man. Just, I just try like to keep it clean, like... Hmm. I like it. What are the plans for the seats? Probably getting reupholstery to OEM or maybe coming across and finding a clean set, but nowadays it's just rare finding. Mm -hmm. So pretty much it's yeah, hard. It's hard finding very mint condition seats or interior. Unless yeah. you go with an EF5 Beagle interior, then, then you gotta go into it and start changing panels, dash. So I think one of the biggest things with, when it comes to your wagon is the suspension setup that you have. So talk to us a, a little bit about it. What, what do you have here? Got two pumps, four accumulators, four dumps, running on two um, 950 CCA batteries. And you were saying you were planning to do four batteries. What are the benefits of going with four? It'll just get up faster. Oh, okay. Two batteries is good right now, but I was probably trying to see if I could add two more batteries, see what it would do. But okay. I'm still debating on doing that or not. How long did it take you to piece all of this? It took me a little while to get everything piece by piece, cause it, I like I just took my time buying parts here and there. You know, mm -hmm. like, I was buying like I first started buying the pumps. I bought one pump and then bought another pump after. Then I bought the the dump kit. Then after that, I was trying to dilate how much feet of holes I was going to need. Mm -hmm. And then I bought that after. And you did all this on your own? Oh, okay. I did. Um, Pretty much I got the rack built. The wiring was done. And the, I did the fittings on the pumps and all that. But the rack was built by one of my homie shop. And he was the one that wired everything up. Oh, so he wired it, okay. Yeah. But I'm sure you... And I just hooked up the hoses. I put the cylinders on myself and all that. But he did the wiring and he did the rack for me. The rack came out pretty clean. Oh, okay. And why hydraulics? I don't know, man. I just think bags are a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Flame. <laughs> yeah, I think bags are a joke. This like button. Bags are for groceries. All right. And I'm more into the OG look. So I had to roll with juice, you know? And my eyes juice, I think it's, it's, I don't know, it just, I don't know, it's just, I just like the sound of it when I 
hit the switch and you can hear the mortar. I just like that sound. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. If you want to, yeah. To be honest, if you want to build something, just build it. Like, don't think about it. Like, you got the money, you, you got the time. Just do, just follow your dreams. If you want to get something done, just, just go for it. Alright. We got this shit knocking low. speaker do you have? I have a 12 inch Alpine Type R on a sealed box. So a Type R JDM speaker. <laughs>